Hi, Mike here. If you can't tell, I do a lot of videos on batteries and power equipment. Today, we're gonna to take a look at an HTRC smart battery charger. It's a 12 volt, 24 volt, fully intelligent pulse repair charger. This does a lot of things. What was amazing to me was that I used to pay over $100 for something that came close to the functionality of something that the HTRC model featured here does. All right, so uh, mine was stolen. Someone just yanked it from my car uh, as I was charging outside in the garage one time. And I've been looking for one ever since, but I didn't want to spend another hundred some dollars. This is less than half of that. I have links down below so you can check it out. What is special about this, in addition to the cheaper price, is that this will also charge lithium batteries. So lithium ion batteries, lithium phosphate batteries. See, it does both of them right here, which is gonna be really key for someone who likes to use lithium batteries and lithium phosphate batteries because you get a lot more power uh, over, light, over the lifetime of the battery versus just lead. But I'm gonna be testing this primarily right now with lead acid batteries for using charge in the car. This also has repair function. Uh, it's been a hit or miss depending on how badly the battery is. I mean, if the battery is really completely dead and it's been dead for years, chances are you're not gonna be able to repair anything like that. Now this has one of these little touch things. It's not like a touch screen and I do wish it had actual buttons on it, but that would increase the price of the unit. So there's different modes. There's not a whole lot to do uh, other than press this one button. One good thing about this is uh, besides the fact that it charges all these batteries is it charges at a relatively decent rate. So we're looking at 12 volts, 10 amps, which is actually really high rate compared to the size of this and 24 volts at five amps, obviously, because it's the same output rating. And that's the maximum that I'll charge it at. Obviously, this is a smart charger. Now, first impressions of this as I'm picking it up is this feels really cheap. Uh, it is definitely not something made for industrial use, but this is so cheap that does it really matter? As long as it lasts and as long as you don't abuse it and you don't crush it, drop it, uh, probably should be okay. But also because it's lightweight, chances are if you do drop it, it'll probably be okay, but I'm not gonna test that in uh, here, uh, at least in this video. Now, if you can see the AC in put voltage will work all the way from 100 volts to 240. And that is good because you can take this pretty much worldwide and have no problems just about anywhere, including Japan, starting at 100 volts. Apple voltage 12 or 24, so it'll charge a 24 volt cells. Like you got an RV, you got a golf cart. This will handle that too, uh, obviously, because it does 12 volt 10 amps and 24 volt 5 amps. Apple voltage, no load is 27.6 volts. Minimum start voltage is over nine volts. Input power is 120 watts, and input power under no load is 2.8 watts. So if you leave it plugged in, it's not doing anything, it will still consume 2.8 watts. All right, now included in here, as you can see, we have the XT60 connector. This is just a really simple little thing. You could use your own connectors if you want, but this is what's included. That just plugs right into this output port over here. Any input port, thankfully, it's just a standard uh, what do you call this, the T8 or the 8, using a lot of laptops and other small home consumer electronic items. So you get that. And then what's really cool and uh, unexpected is they give, actually give you an extension cable because this is so short. So this is kind of unusual. It's the first that I've seen of its kind where they actually give you a cheap extension cable. This is worth like maybe $2, $3 uh, retail, right? So they give you all this so you're ready to go. Uh, I was... Otherwise, you'd complain about how short this cable was. I don't know why they didn't just give you a little bit longer cable. It must be a pricing issue. And then you also get these right here, which allows you to go ahead and replace uh, any connectors that you might need to. All right, so you can just, well, obviously you'll probably want a clamping tool. You could save these, but if you don't know what these are, you're probably not gonna use them because you can just click these on directly connecting to the battery pack, at least for cars anyways. There is a little Instruction manual uh, says for AGM, gel, SLA, wet, deep cycle batteries. And it tells you some of the, the functions on here, the LCD display functions. Okay, so you can see some of that. Uh, as you can see, it gives you a little bit of a percentage, how far it thinks the battery has been charged. Let you know the voltage, the amps, and also the temperature in Celsius and whether or not you chose 12 volts or 24 volts, 
And if there's going to be a problem with the battery, uh, winter summer settings apparently, and then uh, repair mode, which is just pulses charge to it. Now, one other thing that I'm worried about with something like this is whether or not this can withstand leaving outside. So I don't see anything on here. And in case you're wondering, this is a seven stage charger according to this uh, little sheet here. Summer mode, when the temperature is above 28 C, reduce the charge voltage only for car mode. Okay, so basically we've got different car modes. Winter use winter mode, summer use summer mode. And low voltage is too low, battery can't be saved. <laughs> well, that means you got a completely dead battery, All right? Battery capacity, and it'll let you know if there's wrong polarity. You're like you stuck on the clamps wrong. Seven stage charging process, you got first stage is battery desulfation. That's good, this stage is for car mode only. Then you got a soft start, which is really key. Then you got the bulk of the charging, which is where it spends most of its time charging up uh, the battery. Then you got absorption charges, which are basically the final trickle charging at the end. And then you do, oh, it does a battery test for you just to let you check. There's also recondition charging in case it's needed. And then the float maintenance charging is when it's all done and you are just storing the car. Okay, so this is key for people who were in lockdown. If you were in lockdown, obviously you're uh, not driving and or you're in quarantine, you're not supposed to be really driving and going out, uh, but you wanna make sure that your battery's still gonna be around when you, if, if or when you need to start up your car again and run errands after it's done. Looks like repair mode for motorcycle, oh, let's see, for motorcycle batteries and lithium phosphate batteries, repair mode takes 16 hours. So you got any old batteries that you think you might wanna try to repair? Apparently the whole thing takes, yeah, Apparently the whole thing takes uh, 16 hours, okay. Not all batteries can be recovered, only can use it on motorcycle and car batteries, which is pretty obvious. Basically lead acid batteries is what this will do. Uh, charge mode selection after charging for 30 seconds, the mode button will be locked. Okay, if you wanna use it again, you need to remove the alligator clip from the battery and re redo it again. So I guess that's, that's good because you don't wanna inadvertently uh, have the button pressed and switch to a different mode, which then could potentially uh, cause some damage or, um, you know, issues with your battery. So that's pretty much it. The rest of it is in different languages. And yeah, there's Spanish. Okay, I just see Spanish. So it's English and Spanish. And is that Italian? Yep, Italian. Any Chinese in here? That's funny how they don't put Chinese in here, but you know, for the Chinese market, they probably just have it fully in Chinese and maybe English. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this out right now. Start maintaining or charging up the battery. We'll see how it goes. If you're interested in getting this product, please check out my link down below. And yeah, it's an affiliate link, probably to an Amazon link. HDRC is a pretty well-known company, at least in the charging space. I've used them for other products. Never a smart car battery charger though. And of course, this is not sponsored or I got this directly full price from Amazon. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next video.